this is Naomi C speaking and for today's topic we'll talk about 20 common interview questions at Concentrix and this is as per request by Mr. Rob Sim. So the ideas that I'll be giving you in this video are purely based on my experience when I was interviewed at Concentrix. So this is gonna be a face-to-face -face interview but it doesn't matter whether you'll be experiencing face-to-face -face interview or phone interview because the questions are pretty much the same and of course if these questions has been asked to me then chances are these questions might be asked to you as well so please make sure to stick around and finish until the end of this video because the questions that I put in here are random so this is kind of um, from panel interview that I experienced up to the final interview so please make sure to finish the video especially if you are applying at Concentrix as of the moment or you have plans to work for Concentrix and so let's begin <laughs> of course the very first question is tell me something about yourself now this is a very classic questions and oftentimes this is an icebreaker and of course even um, other BPO companies even uh, job related to something that's not about BPO industry like uh, you applying in a government institution or any other private companies out there then this question might be asked to you as well but by the way do you know, you don't have to worry because the 20 questions that i compiled in this video has been answered already or has been answered already and i'll just put the link in the description box down below so you'll be able to see all of the videos that i created about call center interview questions and answers and i know for sure that i already answered this so I'll just give you an idea as what are the questions that are asked to you, of course. So with tell me something about yourself, you might want to focus with yourself, of course. What are your accomplishments? Uh, what are the things that you can do? What are your skills? What are your strengths? Um, what is the degree that you finished way back in college? Your highest um, educational attainment? Of course, you might want to tell your experience as well. It's best if your experience is related to uh, BPO industry. If not, um, it should be something that's about customer service. But if it's totally not related to BPO industry, then that's completely fine. And of course, my classic tip for you is for you to tell as much as you can. Be talkative, be friendly, and don't just uh, tell something about your family background and such because they don't really want to hear that. All they want to hear from you is what is in you that uh, they will be able to use in order for their business to grow. So you should have something to offer for the company. Next question is, why did you chose to apply in a BPO industry? So most of us, or most of the people working in the BPO industry has different educational background. Some finished um, high school, some finished senior high school, some are college undergraduates, some are um, college graduate, and others, mo you know, others are even licensed. You know, licensed teachers, licensed nurse, and all. So, why did you choose to apply in a BPO industry? You should be honest with your answer. Make sure it's going to be positive. But please don't tell them that the reason why you would like to apply in a BPO industry is because of the salary. Because you will be rejected. Next question is, what is your idea of a call center? So, most of us... Especially um, at that time, I don't have an idea of what call center is <laughs> uh, because again, I am just a newbie just like you. So I know for sure that you are a newbie just like me as well from before right now. And so my best tip if you will be asked by this question is for you to do prior research. Researching is the key because if you will enter a battle without um, any idea, without any weapon with you, then you will lose, of course. So if you will be asked by this question, please make sure that you did your research or at least you are, uh, you are familiar with how call center works, how it operates, and others. 
And the next question is, why did you not apply in a job related to what you finished studying in college? So this is mainly for those who finished um, a degree in college, but instead of pursuing their degree, they prefer to work in a BPO industry. And this is something that's related to what I did because I am a college graduate, but I intend to to work in a BPO industry so that's a personal choice of mine and uh, what you uh, how you can answer this is of course just be honest and uh, just follow what your heart is telling you <laughs> and by the way I already created a video about this or an answer about this so just check it in the description box down below but yes you already have an idea now so the next question is do you have a call center experience already do you have call center experience already so this is basically you being asked whether uh yes you have or you have not but please don't um answer it like a close-ended answer like yes or no only say yes or no or most of the time the answer is no but explain the reason why and of course your willingness to get the job and so you'll get experience right <laughs> the next question is how much is your salary expectation so most of the companies really ask this and uh, this is for me one of the most critical questions asked because if your interviewer uh, don't don't like your answer then you might fail but um, in, in this case um, normally I don't um, give the exact figure as to how much is it that I would like to get but if they really would like to um, to give me figures then I'll give them um, 15,000 to 18,000 pesos that is enough uh, 20,000 is possible of course but uh, that is way too much especially if you're a newbie but yes 15 to 18,000 is fine and that's you know that's above the minimum wage already so that's fine number seven do you have plans to take your board exam? So again, these are for... These are... <laughs> so this question is for those who finished a certain degree in college and that they have to take the board exam in order to get licensed and be able to, to practice their profession. So in my case, I do have board exam, but I don't have plans just yet. So i also created a video about this so i'll just put the link in the description box down below uh the main purpose of this video by the way is me telling you what are the possible questions that will be asked to you now if you would like me to give you the specific answers to these then i already created that videos or those videos for you so please check it out number eight because what are your strengths <laughs> So please don't tell your interviewer or your interviewer your um strengths or your family god because that might be true uh, that might be true but what they would like to to know is that what are your uh, strengths in in terms of the job that you will be entering or do you have good command in english are you flexible with your time um are you friendly are you capable of working with teams? Can you work under pressure and such? You should have those strengths with you. Otherwise, you might not qualify. Number eight. Or nine. I'm sorry. What are your weaknesses? So if there are strengths, of course, there are weaknesses. So in terms of weaknesses, um, please don't belittle yourself. Please don't underestimate yourself. Please don't tell yourself anything negative or at least you can of course tell something negative but flip it with something positive what i mean is you gotta tell what is the negative characteristics in characteristic or characteristic in your trade and then you cite an example why is it negative and what are the things that you are doing in order to make that positive or in order to overcome that weakness of yours now let's say you are a shy type person you're an introvert then that is for you a weakness and in order for you to overcome that 
you now enjoy talking to someone, approaching a stranger, and something else. So that's like overcoming your weaknesses, right? Next question is number 10. Can you work under pressure? So, of course, in a working environment, there are always pressure. Uh, there are always conflict at work, but you should be able to handle it. You should be able to, <laughs> to work under pressure. So, your answer with this question should always be yes. And you also have to state a certain um, example or an event in your life wherein you are able to um, to overcome pressure. Especially if you don't have an experience just yet, then you can um, tell them your experience when you are still a student or your life in general. So, what are those times that you've been put in pressure, but you will you are able to overcome it? So. If you will be able to deliver that in a good way, in a positive way with your interviewer, then you're good to go. Number 11. How do you see yourself five years from now? So this is a classic, classic question as well. And most of the time, get mistaken. we get mistaken in answering this question because um, some of us um, would like to be the owner of the company five years from now would like to become the manager five years from now, that's completely possible. Uh, I mean, being a manager and operations manager is completely possible within five years of your experience in a BPO industry. But you becoming the owner of that said company <laughs> or replacing your interviewer uh, that's in front of you, then that can be a mess. So please make sure to state something positive, uh, something that you would like to accomplish in the future. And of course, you should see yourself five years from now with you working in that same company. Please don't tell them that you five years from now you'll be working, you know, abroad. <laughs> because that means you will not stick with the company for a very long time. And if that is the case, what's the reason why they would hire you? So please tell them that you would like to see yourself working from the, for the same company. Uh, but this time, higher position, okay? Number 12, why did you left your previous job? So this is uh, for those job seekers who already has um, experience in terms of their job, of course. <laughs> so let's say you already have work experience, you know, working in a fast food chain or something you already work in the bank you already have another call center company what's the reason behind that just please don't tell them or don't bad mouth your past employer uh, tell them that um, the reason for that is because of growth because you would like some career advancement you would like to level up your your career you would like to grow you would like to achieve more in life you would like to look for greener pasture and such as long as you're the reason why you would like you as long as the reason why you left your job is positive is for your own growth and you did not badmouth your company then they won't ask you further questions about that but if you say something fishy then of course they will you know dig deeper and ask you more questions so please make sure to answer positive choices or positive answers only okay next question is are you willing to work night shift so uh 13 to 20 questions are like behavioral type of questions and my best tip for you especially if you're a newbie is for you to just say yes and yes and yes even if your answer is no <laughs> Because if you're working in a call center company, you should accept the fact that you should be flexible. And of course, the question is, are you willing to work night shift? So of course, we all know that working in a call center company, most of the time, is at night. <laughs> night shift, grave, graveyard shift, I'm sorry. Why? Because our clients are living in the US, international. So we have different time zones. So. <laughs> if today if today is what 3 26 a.m then in in the u.s it's 2 36 in the afternoon so really we have to work at night in order to serve them well they are awake <laughs> 
But um, other BPO companies, of course, those companies who operate 24-7, of course, there are uh, morning shifts as well. So you should be willing. Yes, I'm willing to work night shift. Mm, that's completely okay. Number 14, are you comfortable working in shif shifting schedule? Shifting? <laughs> shifting schedule. So what do you mean by shifting schedule? Let's say um, your schedule today is 3 p.m. to 12 midnight. And then the other week, the following week, your schedule would be 12 midnight to 9 a.m. <laughs> or 10 a.m. Oh, yes, 9 a.m. 12 a.m. to 9 a.m. So... Your answer should be yes still even if you feel like you're not comfortable because hey the reason why you're here is because you would like to get a job because if you will say no then your interviewer will say no to your application as well number 15 are you comfortable to render an overtime so even in other companies out there maybe government or private we uh, you know, employers seek or ask for render sometimes or render over time sometimes. I'm sorry. Why? Especially if um, you're in queue, on queue, I'm sorry, or that you have loads of work or tasks to finish and you have to render over time. And you should be comfortable with that. Normally, that should not be more than two hours. So that's okay. That's additional <laughs> money to earn. Next question is, are you amenable to work during your rest day if needed? The answer is yes, of course, even if you really don't want to. So we call this rest day OT, or rest day over time. And this is actually good because um, your salary would be 130%. So it's like they will be paid double because you work during your day off. So it's like 200%, sometimes 130%. So it's best if you will work like during your rest day if you're you don't have to do you don't have anything to do you know rather than um <laughs> scrolling through facebook social media accounts just work and you'll earn went two times more so next question is are you willing to work during holidays <laughs> Of course, most of us really don't want to work during holidays because we don't we would like to spend our our moments or our times with our families but um if you're working in a bpo industry then you should say yes with this so even if it's christmas even if it's valentine's even if it's new year and um, it's plotted in your schedule that you have work with that that is a critical day then you have to work but uh, there are perks with that because of course during holidays um um, you will earn holiday pay or like 20% or 30% more for your salary or even double your pay for that. So if you are earning 1000 per day, then that can go to 2000 per day. So that's good enough. Number 18, how long is your travel time? So this is asked in order for the interviewer to be aware of whether you'll be late or not. <laughs> Joke. Um, ma mainly um, to check uh, what is the best time um, for you to be given a, a you know, schedule so as for them to check uh, what's the best time in order for you to go to work without any hassle uh, in traveling. And of course, if you are living way too far from your location, chances are you might get late most of the time. So they might not consider your application but if you are really very much eager to get that job then they'll give you a chance 19 so what will be your reasons in leaving this job so this is like a difficult question but um when i was asked by this question i told them that i don't have plans to leave this job because my main goal is to be part of your company and work as a call center agent or a customer service representative. So they will feel secure with that answer of yours. Because why would they ask you to leave a job if you, if the main reason why you're applying is to be part of their company, right? <laughs> so last question is, 
do you have questions for me and you should always always come up with questions because it's kind of awkward if um the interviewer ask you asks you so many questions and at the end of the day you have nothing to ask him or her so again you should be able to come up with questions to answers or questions to answers <laughs> i'm sorry answer to the questions as most of the time what i ask is when can i start and they will tell you <laughs> So that's it. That's pretty much it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. Bye now.